November to Quebec, India Lima. How you doing there, Doc? A long time no hear. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's what's the name there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What's what's the name there? Kenny. Kenny. I used to talk to you in the afternoons quite a bit. Roger, Roger. Where where are you located, sir? Roger, Roger. Where where are you located, sir? Up in uh, Saratoga County in uh, upstate New York. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, gosh, I'm going to check out my uh, local loops here in a minute. Uh, why don't you give me about uh, 10 seconds to tell me about your antenna system? 10 seconds to tell me about your antenna system. Well, I actually didn't. I pretty much got the audio. It was the SDR that you're running there. And uh, I have purchased an SDR Play RSPDX. Play RSPX. And I am awaiting a, a talk receive switch from MFJ so I can put it in line without blowing the front end up. I was wondering exactly uh, what, what it is you use on your SDR system. Uh, gosh, well, I'm using uh, four um, Amazon Fire tablets, uh, Roger. Um, Amazon Fire tablets, uh, Roger. Oh, just strictly off the internet. They're not on any antennas or anything, none. No, uh -uh. these are internet uh, receivers. Uh, we're monitoring uh, New York, uh, Georgia, Pennsylvania, and uh, Virginia, Roger. Pennsylvania and uh, Virginia, Roger. Yeah, Roger. Yeah. Where, what's your location? You're in, like, Kentucky or something like that? Yes, sir. We're just on the other side of Louisville, Kentucky, home of uh, fast women and beautiful horses. Fast women and beautiful horses. Ah, that's right. You, you're picking me up on your uh, local antenna, I imagine. Uh, I'm going through Milford right now. I think you're somewhere between 20 and 30 over in Milford. I always, I always pick the hottest signal, Roger. I always, I always pick the hottest signal, Roger. Oh, yeah, Roger, with what you do with the audio and all that. Yeah, I, uh, well, I'm out in the middle of nowhere, and I, I was kind of, what I'm trying to accomplish is I want to be able to use, uh, I put a pan adapter in my 7300. I bought one of them ever so expensive installations there, and, uh, and I have a SDR radio, so I guess I need a talk receive switch so I don't just blow the front end out. I don't know. I, I, it's kind of new to all me, new to me. Roger, Roger. Well, uh, these are um, uh, these four audios from the um, Amazon Fire tablets uh, come up on a six position rotary selector, as does my uh, local receiver audio. So I have uh, a rotary switch that I can select between the four internet SDR audios or my local receiver audio. And I can uh, sample those in about uh, half a second. Just five, uh, five audio samples in half a second or a second, somewhere in there. And I uh, just uh, go for the, uh, the hottest one, Roger. Just uh, go for the, uh, the hottest one, Roger. Yeah, that's a Roger. I, and it's, it's strictly internet. Everything is off the internet. What you're the, what you're hearing? No, no, not necessarily. Like I say, my local receivers uh, in the queue as far as uh, the sample of the uh, incoming audios from you know the four internet SDRs on my local receiver. And uh, then my local receiver has uh, options for antenna inputs. It also has a six-position antenna input selector that uh, I can select between uh, my uh, uh, dipole or three 10-foot uh, vertical magnetic loops or a, um, uh, a vertical uh, antenna. Roger, roger. Uh, vertical uh, antenna. Roger, roger. Yeah, see... See, that's where I got lost. I was, I'm was i out in the mountains here. I was thinking I wanted to listen to the, the SDR signal to come over my long wire. I'd probably have the best reception, I was thinking, but uh, the regular Internet is probably even better than that, right? Maybe I'm wasting my money on this. Uh, I forget what number it is, but it's a talk-receive switch MFJ makes. Roger. I just might review your audio just a moment. You sound like you might be a little hot uh, in your audio system uh, and review. Uh, normally we suggest a uh, uh, the uh, compressor uh, in at about a 3, compressor in at about a 3, then into your ALC with mic gain in hand 
and adjust the AOC for mid-scale to two-thirds. Sounds like you might be hot somewhere along that chain. Might be hot somewhere along that chain. Yeah, I just had, uh, I had the compressor on four and the mic probably a little bit hot. You know, I, uh, I'm working on my DXX, Roger. Roger, but what happens uh, when you when you pass a 3 dB dynamic range and you move on down uh, and further compress that audio signal to a 2.5, 2, or 1.5, uh, it starts to get blurry. So you actually defeat your purpose because it's, much, it's more difficult to understand the words that you're saying when your audio starts to, to blur. So that the 3 dB dynamic range uh, is uh, an area that's, that's clean, there's no blur, and it's it's uh, very loud. You accomplish, you know, almost detrimental when you get uh, too hot audio-wise, Roger. Get uh, too hot audio-wise, Roger. Yeah, Roger. How's that? I backed it down to where uh, I usually sat. It sat there. I don't know. I uh, haven't talked to you in quite a while, and I got to think of these Friday afternoon. The, doc the good doctor's probably on the air. Let me go see if I can find him. <laughs> Yes, sir. So I'm assuming now that you've got your compressor on there at about a three, is that a Roger? You've got your compressor on there at about a three, is that a Roger? That's a Roger. How's the audio sound now? Am I in that uh, three dB sweet spot you're always talking about or no? Uh, just still a little bit hot. Uh, what is your uh, mic level uh, at the moment? What is your uh, mic level uh, at the moment? Uh, probably around 59, 60 percent. I'm sorry about the background there. Yes, sir. Um, well, I, if you could drop it about 10 to about a 50, I guess. Uh, if you're running 60, drop it to about 50, and uh, we'll see where your dynamic range goes after that. And uh, we'll see where your dynamic range goes after that. should be a little bit better. I was a touch over 60% on the mic gain. Yeah, so that looks really good there. That's that's about three, and that's exactly where you want to be. You're nice and loud, but you're not, not blurry. Roger, you're very easy to understand, but loud. Sorry, Roger, you're very easy to understand, but loud. Yeah, I know. I probably got away from it a little bit. Well, it's good to hear you anyways there. November 2, Quebec, India, Lima, the was it DKV? That's, uh, that's all I remember. <laughs> Roger, Roger. KC9, VKV, Kilo, Charlie, 9, Victor, uh, Kilo, Victor, and uh, gosh, uh, thanks for dropping by, and you know what I'm saying now about those audios, uh, you know, those uh, internet SDRs, man, they do uh, they do a great job, it's, uh, uh, you know, um, for the money, now you could probably get those, I forget uh, how much those fire tablets were, but not much. Uh, you know, it's just, uh, you know, probably uh, two antennas worth, uh, or one antenna worth, uh, you know, a wire, where you could probably get uh, a couple of um, internet uh, SDRs, and, you, and like, you would know where, you, where you're going. So you could uh, pre-plan your SDRs uh, to, for specific um, locations now you know you might not want to do like the the exact city that you're going to because usually uh, because everything is ground wise uh, ground wave uh, I'm sorry sky wave uh, the ground wave situation is not good so if you think you know you can't think about uh, say you want to work somebody in Chicago go to a Chicago SDR because two to one that uh, will not work because they're you know they're, they're ground wave and ground wave is is really not good but uh, you could uh, you know take a look at a, a repeater or a, a SDR location somewhere like 400 miles away you know, uh, th that's usually the, about the right hop uh, for, you know, good conditions, Roger. Hop uh, for, you know, good conditions, Roger. Yeah, we got a little QRM in there. I, uh, I probably would, because uh, I used, uh, like I was thinking about the Utah, there, there's an SDR in Utah to help me pick up a little bit more of the West Coast. Some of the guys in uh, California are a little light on me. I talk to every day there, Roger. Yes, sir. Let me give you an SDR that that uh, you'll love, and that's uh, Half Moon Bay, out in uh, San Francisco. 
Uh, Half Moon Bay SDR is just an unbelievable SDR, man. I don't know, you know, I've never seen that location, but gosh, they just, uh, you know, have beautiful coffee on, you know, five or six uh, states for sure, you know. You know, five or six uh, states for sure, you know. I'll have to give that a look, uh, look, see there. Well, been good talking to you, Doc. Seventy threes, and I always appreciate your advice as always. There, take her easy. Yes, sir. 73 your way, sir, and you have a, a great uh, afternoon and a beautiful weekend, and thanks for dropping by, Roger. Afternoon and a beautiful weekend, and thanks for dropping by, Roger. Roger that. Take her easy, Doc. Till next time. Roger, Roger. Uh, before you go, what radio are you running right now? Roger, Roger. Uh, before you go, what radio are you running right now? Oh, it's uh, 7300 and uh, an old SB220, just kind of like you would do Roger, 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 Roger. Well, uh, thank you so much, sir. And uh, yeah, I love to uh, keep track of the of the radios there. That's sounding good now. And uh, I would run it just like that. Uh, like I say, if you get if you get louder audio wise, you start to get blurry and uh, become like you know. You have to imagine your signal in there with about fifty thousand other signals. You know, and you're all vying to be heard, and uh, so you want to make your audio just as easy to understand as as possible, and that's what we're doing with our uh, 3 dB dynamic range, Roger. What we're doing with our uh, 3 dB dynamic range, Roger. Yeah, that's a Roger, Doc. How's your uh, your friend there? Are you still talking to your friend up in, uh, where is he, Canada or someplace like that? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Every once in a while, he'll uh, drop down, and uh, there's a, there's about five of them up there that uh, are really uh, nice to uh, uh, talk out. Uh, I got a recording from uh, Rob, I believe. Uh, uh, he was working on one of his um, mm, remote uh, control situations there, and he recorded uh, my conversation and his conversation, and then uh, uh, gave me a, a URL to his uh his audio on YouTube, so that's always nice. Uh, yeah, I, I enjoy uh, working up north, Roger. Yeah, I, I enjoy uh, working up north, Roger. Yeah, I talk to a few fellows up there on a daily basis myself. Roger, Roger, Roger. All right, well, sir, 73, and uh, thanks for dropping by. All right, well, sir, 73, and uh, thanks for dropping by. Okay, take it easy there, Doc. November 2, Quebec, India, Lima. Oh, I forgot you tell a call already. <laughs> Roger, Roger. Kilo, Charlie 9, Victor, Kilo, Victor. KC9, VKV. Uh, Jim, Juliet, India, Mike here. And this is the uh, Friday afternoon QSO Vlog Net. From now until 5, we record live, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout. Record live, so if you have a radio you want to check out, give me a shout.